Yeah, this is the Mario 800 back once again, and I'm in this video. I want to um, do a review on Hulk Hogan's unreleased collector series. There's the front. Very great DVD. I love this. If you're a huge Hogan fan, you'll have this DVD in your set. Very good DVD. If you're a huge Hogan fan, definitely pick this up. Turn this light on. Get better lighting. There we go. Yeah, if you're definitely a big Hogan fan, pick this set up. Very good DVD set to have. And I'm going to open up. There's the artwork. It's got some good artwork. There's the artwork on the Hulkster. And the inside. I like, particularly like this one. He's got the belt on. Very good picture. And you know, I was hoping they were going to do the discs all differently, but they were all the same picture. I was hoping they were going to do something all different with the discs, but they were all the same. If him ripped the shirt off, it's an overused picture. I, mean, I wish they would have put something rare on for their cover. So I was hoping ripped the shirt off. Not that I don't like that picture. It's just been used so much. So that's what the artwork looks like. And then I'll just quickly read you the back. Hulk Hogan is a good name in sports entertainment. He headlined the first nine WrestleMania events, becoming a global icon still cheered today by generations of Hulk Maniacs. In 2005, inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, was in... Oh, shit. I just lost where I was. Shit. Generation of Hulk... Where did I leave off now? Should I screwed up? A Hall of Fame was inevitable. Now Hulk and Mayas can add to their collection Hulk Hogan's Unreleased Collector Series, a three DVD set packed with 27 matches that will be fully released on DVD that spells the career of the Amara one. From his early days in the AWA through the explosion and popularity of Hulk and the WWE, his shocking departure of WCW and Trump return to WWE, this set is also includes archival interviews and promos from his legendary career. Now I'll just quickly read you the matches he's against. Bob Backlund, Andre the Giant, Randy Savage, Rick Rude, Sergeant Slaughter, Nature Boy, Rick Flair, Vader, Sting, Bret Hart, Boss Man, Triple H, and more. Well, this came out last year, 2009 in November, so it's going to have the PG rating at the bottom. Because they're going to be in PG rating, other DVDs have to be now, so. Hopefully they don't release anything from the added too much stuff from the Attitude Era, because I hate to see that all PG, everything blurred and cut out. Yeah, so anyways, I'm going to insert the slip out and read you the matches. Okay, so disc one. Now this has some really rare house show matches that you can't get anywhere else. A lot of these matches were not seen since the, they were um, the people who seen them in the arena last was last time. A lot of these matches. So WWE really digs into the vault for these matches for this set. Really, this is my favorite Hogan set of all the Hogan DVDs. They really dig in the vault for this set. So it was Hulk Hogan versus Harry Valdez Championship Wrestling Year 1379 squash match. First major obstacle, WWE Championship match, Backlund versus Hogan from Philadelphia, PA, April 12, 1980. Now, for those who think Hogan can't wrestle, go back and watch that match. That was had a lot of scientific wrestling, and Hogan actually did a pretty good job in that match, battling Bob Backlund. Very, very, very good match. A work in progress handicap match, Hulk Hogan, another, another squash match versus Steve King and Angelo Gomez. From All Star Wrestling, September 10, 1980. Building momentum onto the giant versus Hulk Hogan, Madison Square Garden, September 22nd, 1980. Um, an emerging star handicap match: Hulk Hogan versus Nick Bonhoeffer and Bobby the Brain, the American Wrestling Association. Now they have May 2nd, 1981 on there, which is a misprint. It should be May 2nd, um, 1982, because in May of 81, Hogan was still with the WWE. He didn't leave until I think he didn't debut in the AWA until July. He was also a rule breaker. When he first came to the AWA, so he wouldn't be facing Bob Lincoln he and so that's definitely a misprint. I think that's supposed to be May second, eighty two. But they have eighty one, which is definitely a misprint. Hulkamania is here. Hulk Hogan and Mr. T in a grocery store, Tuesday night Titans, March twenty second, eighty five. Pandemonium W Championship match, Hulk Hogan versus Randy Macho Man Travis Detroit, Michigan, April twenty second, eighty six with Jack Reynolds. And um Kelly Kevin Resnick, who came from the AWA in commentary, which is pretty cool to see them, because you hardly ever hear them guys on commentary for WWE matches, which was pretty cool. Revered by crowds, Hulk Hogan and JYD versus Bundy and Stud from Maple Leaf Gardens, May 4th, 86 in Toronto. Very good math. I'm an Ontario boy myself, so anything that comes from Ontario, I definitely love. I'm glad they put a couple Ontario matches on the set. Matches not only from just from Canada, but all from Ontario. Okay, Snake Pit with Hulk Hogan on All American Wrestling, March 29th, 1987. The lead legend grows. The WWE Championship match: Hulk Hogan versus Kamala from Houston, Texas, June 26, 87. Two months before they had the Paul Bosch retirement card there held there. They don't even put that on. Two months later, in August of 87, for the Paul Bosch retirement, which Hogan was also on that card. I think he beat one man game that night. Was also on the card as well. The power of the Hulkamaniacs. WWE Championship match: Hulk Hogan versus Killer Khan for the Boston Garden, September 12, 1987. 
Um, the hot one with Khan was a good one. I was hoping they were also going to put on maybe the one from the, the he actually had one with Khan from Hamilton, Ontario, which was the Mongolian stretcher match, which is really rare. I was hoping they were going to put that one on, and they never did. From 87, Hogan versus Killer Khan. But the one from the Boston Garden was pretty good. That crowd was massive. It looked like the WWE wasn't there for quite a few months, and they came back as that crowd was pretty big. That one at the Boston Garden, and he faced Khan. And also, um,. I was hoping too that they were going to have um, Hogan and Bruno San Martino team up in here against Gang and Bundy, but they never did because Hogan and San Martino did team up in 1987. I think it was around April or May of that year. I can't remember. I'm going to have to check the day. I'm not exactly sure. I forget, but I remember he teamed up with Bruno and they beat King Kong, Bundy, and one man gang. I wish they would have put that match in this set, but they didn't, unfortunately. Okay, Disc 2, a gang of destruction. W Championship match, Hulk Hogan vs. One Man Gang, Philadelphia, PA, December 5th, 87. Simply Ravishing, W Championship match, Hulk Hogan vs. Rick Rude, Boston Garden, January 9th, 1988. Though in that match, Rick Rude challenges Hulk Hogan to an arm wrestling contest. Rick Rude really wasn't our wrestling champion before he went into wrestling, so that was not a lie. Rick Rude really wasn't our wrestling champion. I think you can hear it on the Bobby Heenan shoe. I think High Spots has. Talks about Rick Rude being an arm wrestling champion. Um, cooperative Green Hulk Hogan and Bam Bam Bigelow versus Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase and Virgil. Maple Leaf Wrestling, March 12th, 88, and that one was from Hamilton. The Evil Empire W Championship match, Hulk Hogan versus King Haku in Los Angeles, California, October 16th, 88. Haku was a tough bugger back in the day, boy. Ming, Haku, whatever you want to call him, he was just a tough, not only in wrestling, but in real life, that guy was tough. Ask anybody about how tough Haku was, one of the toughest men a lot of the wrestlers ever known. He was a really tough man in real life. No joke about Haku. The Corporate Prison Guard W Championship match, Hulk Hogan vs. Big Boss Man, Los Angeles, California, December 17th, 88. Hogan and Boss Man going to have lots of confrontations. That one was a pretty good one. Hulk Hogan promo, Randy Watchman Salad Wrestling Challenge, February 25th, 89. The Mega Power Explosion, WB Championship match, Hogan vs. Macho Man from the Boston Garden, June 13th, 89. Classic battle. Hulk Hogan promo in the Ultimate Warrior Wrestling Challenge, March 31st, 1990, The Natural Disaster. Hogan vs. Earthquake, Madison Square Garden, April 30th, 1990. Hulk Hogan promo in the Slaughter Wrestling Challenge, March 23rd, 91, The Turncoat. WWE Championship match, Hogan vs. Slaughter from London, England, April 24th, 1991. That was a WrestleMania rematch. Where Slaughter faced Hogan over in England on another day. Um, European tourists. That was their re that rematch. It was pretty good. Hogan actually. Slaughter, I think, there was a hole and one of them grabbed a chair. It was one of those ones that didn't fold. That one of those old kind of chairs with the four legs on it. It couldn't fold. And tried to, I think it was Slaughter that tried to pick it up and you know, with it. You don't usually see them chairs too much. The ones that don't fold up usually, but in that match there was. Um, Real World Champion Hulk Hogan vs. Nature Boy Ric Flair, Madison Square Garden, December 29th, 91. They actually got two matches with him against Nature Boy in this set, which was pretty good. Okay, Disc 3, Hogan joins WCW. Hulk Hogan and Randy Macho Man Savage versus Vader and Nature Boy Ric Flair. Slam Bree, May 21st, 95, the debut of the Giant. You can actually see him come out and stand in that, like, the aisle. Like, he wasn't actually, didn't actually come out to the ring, but he, you could see him, the backstage area, him standing there. Um, they actually don't have the Giant really debut into Great American Bash, but he really did debut at Slam Bree. You can see him, if you look in the back entrance, you can see him standing there, and Hogan and Savage get distracted by him. So Paul Wright, the Big Show, makes his debut there at Slam Bree. The Resident Monster Steel Cage match for the WB Championship, Hulk Hogan vs. Vader, Bash at the Beach, July 16, 95. Legendary fan favorites, Hulk Hogan vs. Sting, Nitro, November 20, 95. That's where Hogan was wearing black in that match before the NWO was formed. He was supposed to be oh, doing all that thing with Doom and the angle with Doom and stuff. He was supposed to join the Dungeon of Doom and stuff like that, so he was wearing black in that match. The NWO WCW Championship match, Hollywood Hulk Hogan vs. The Giant from Sold Out, January 25th, 97, one of my favorite matches. Sold Out 97 was awesome. Hitman in Hollywood, Brit the Hitman Hurt vs. Hollywood Hulk Hogan Nitro, September 28th, 98, good match. The Return, Hollywood Hulk Hogan on the fans, Raw, March 18th, 2002. The Red and Yellow was back, the WWE Speed Championship match. Hollywood Hulk Hogan vs. Nature Boy Ric Flair from Raw, May 13, 2002. Now I have that complete Raw tape somewhere in a tape DVD. Like the entire Raw somewhere. I gotta find it, but I have that entire Raw that night. Somewhere. And if I'm not mistaken that night, I think Austin helped Hogan win that match. And then Hogan was supposed to help Steve Austin. I think the Undertaker attacked him from behind with the... I think a lead pipe or whatever it was in the back of Hogan, and then um, he drove him around with his motorcycle. And later that night, they put Ric Flair put Steve Austin in a lumberjack match with all the wrestlers surrounding. I think like 
Brock Lesnar, and that was another man. I haven't seen the Raw in a long time, but I remember if that was correct, that's what happened in that episode at Raw for May 13, 2002. Still in the hunt, number one contenders match, Hollywood Hulk Hogan versus Triple H, SmackDown, June 6, 2002. Now, that was the match. The, each of them were co a battle royal in the night, both Hogan and Triple H, both co a battle royal to have a match because they both went out at the same time so Vince and everybody come out and declared it a draw and they were both winners and they had been having one on one match last night which of course Triple H would win and won to face Undertaker at King of the Ring that year. Tag Team Gold Lady Tag Team Championship Hollywood Hulk Hogan and Edge versus Billy and Chuck Smackdown July 11, 2002 and that was the following week. It's not the one everybody knows when they went on the 4th of July like Independence Day that it was on previous sets. This is the week the, the following week and Billy and Chuck got their rematch on July 11, 2002. Pretty good. I still like the one, the one from Independence Day better but this one wasn't too bad. The rematch from July 11, 2002. Olympic Hurdle Hollywood Hulk Hogan vs. Kurt Angle Smackdown August 1st, 2002. They were both facing to see who would fight Brock Lesnar in the fight in the following week. They were I would imagine to see who would go on to face Brock Lesnar. Of course, Hogan won by um, disqualification because Angle brought that chair and got caught with it. So he got disqualified and Hogan won to face Lesnar the following week, which Hogan left for a while because of his knee had to get knee, uh, something to do with his knees and that one I think was screwed up or something. Had to have knee surgery done or whatever on his one knee. So that's the reason why he left. And he didn't see him. I think he didn't return again until January of 03, the following year he returned. So he was out after he faced Brock Lesnar the following week. So, and then the end, it says immortal, more immortality. So, there's the entire Hogan set. All reviewed, all three. That's very good set. If you're a huge Hulk Hogan fan, definitely pick this up for your collection. It's a very good set. Very good to have if you're Hogan. I like this Hulk Hogan DVD out of all the Hogan DVDs. This one's the best one out of all the Hogan DVDs. If I had to pick between this one, Hulk Story Rules, and the Ultimate Anthology, I'd definitely go with this one because the matches are just sick and there. A lot of them are, like I said, house shows that people haven't seen since the, since the people in the arena that day that saw them. So this is definitely a good set to have, definitely. If you're a huge Hulk Hogan fan, definitely pick this up. So, I couldn't wait to review this. So everybody knows how big of a Hogan fan I was. He was my childhood hero, Hulk Hogan. So, my all-time favorite Hulk Hogan. So I definitely had to review this set. So a very, very good set. I'm glad to review it for you guys. So yeah, pick, definitely pick this up if you're a huge Hulk Hogan. I definitely wouldn't recommend it to all WWE fans, but if you're definitely a fan of the Hulkster, definitely pick this up. So, anyways, this has been the Mario Van 100, and that's been my um review on the Hulk Hogan's Unreleased Collector Series, and I'm out.